Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shellyans. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. We got Dr. Carl in the house today. Oh what boy. Y'all, you're gonna have to talk up because the mic not on. Y'all, today, 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 we're doing some stuffed bell peppers that I did. Child, they look like they might be a little burnt on the top, but that's all right. Your girl did it. And I'm hungry for it, honey. This is Sunday, and you guys will get this on Monday. And my baby's gonna talk about what he discussed today. He gave the word at church. And y'all was on six of us there. Six, six, six. So it was all good. But anyway, my baby's gonna pray with the food and the drink, which I got some Snapple tea. And we're gonna get the child now. I'm hungry. Let me pray. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, O God, for this food and the drink that you've placed before us. I pray that it will be nutritious to our bodies and that it will not cause any hurt, harm, or danger to us in any way. I actually please watch over all of, all of our Lee Shellians, all of YouTube land, and everybody across the whole world. In Jesus' name we pray. We give you all the glory and honor in his holy name. Amen. 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 Let me taste it. Baby, you're not hungry? Yeah, he ate some KFC at the church. Shall I? Ooh, it's hard, y'all. Let me see. I should have took out the thing so y'all can see. Y'all can't see that. Mm. Oh, sure. Did I be loving had it? Y'all, I'm learning. This is my first time ever eating a stuff bell pepper. I messed it up at the top. I messed, ooh, I messed it up, y'all. Oh, it's still good. I bought the recipe for my girl, Ladybug Bethany. She already, I'm gonna follow behind her. I'm gonna try to do like she do. I don't think I got my bell peppers big enough. Mm. And. That's the inside. And I'm going to make, I have to save the other meat to make spaghetti. We're going to have a spaghetti bouboon too. My way. He normally make it, but. It was good, baby. It was good. It's a no. I mean, yes, he has to be throwing down. Mmm. But he normally makes spaghetti, but. I'm making, I put the rice in mine, Ladybug, be love. I put the, that Nora rice. I had never had it before, and it was good. I had the chicken, and I had the chicken, I had chicken flavor, and also I had the chicken with broccoli fla flavor. Mmm. <clears throat> Mamma mia. It was good. I couldn't stop eating it, child. And, and I put it at the bottom of the pan. I had so much of the stuffing left over, but I did that last night. But I was just gonna record the video last night, but you got tired. Too tired. So <clears throat> I took some days off from work. Yeah, forgive me for talking loud. I'm rushing. I got my grandson over here. My son, my granddaughter, they come this time, and we just came from church. I'm hungry. He's a little hungry. But I'm hungry for real, for real. And I forgot to bring my laptop for the Yeti mic. So it's okay. So I'm talking loud. That's why. Y'all know I talk loud anyway. Come on, do <laughs> Now I'm dancing. Y'all look at him. What do you think he flash dance with the water? What do you think he finna go to the gym? 
Yeah, I guess so. He's not like no gym up right now, baby. Social distancing, okay? Child. Look at him. Got his blue on. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for watching the video um, two days ago. Because I didn't upload yesterday. And this is Sunday. I didn't upload today. But, I don't know. This might come out today. I might put it up this up today, Sunday, late, late Sunday. I'm black to do that, but I will. Since I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I can. So I might put it up in a minute. Well, you got a lot of stuff to do. I think okay. you got other stuff to do. I can still put this up. Yeah. I took off the, I have some no. screen cleaning to do. And yeah. I'm going to record videos and edit them. That's why. Okay. You right about the screen cleaning. Mm-hmm. But more about the video. That's what it's about. And it's date night. It was a date night last night. Saturday night. I was too busy. Yes, we uh, are. Uh, right there in that bed. He was tired. He hit, hit y'all. He had to study. Because he got to work today at church. But he's going to discuss a little bit in a minute. It's really, really good. And he had to study. I didn't record, but I cooked this food today. Remember, baby, I cooked this. Uh, I was tired. So, date night will be today, Sunday. And Monday. And Tuesday. Because <laughs> I'm out for all them days. Now I'm out Wednesday, too. But Wednesday, I have to get prepared for Thursday. Because the back to work Thursday, I go. Okay? But, yeah, I was. they told me today at church and... My son also confirmed, my husband told me, my pastor, which is my brother-in-law, and my son, they confirmed that here in Houston, they told me starting tomorrow, we must wear a mask. That's what they say. So I said, I ain't heard that. Have y'all who live here in Houston? Says we got to start wearing masks from now on. Right, baby? For 30 days, that's what they put say? It on, put it on, put it on, put it on. Hmm. If you don't, I'm going to tell you, back, 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 back. Give me six feet. Hey, because there. I know that Corona is really chasing me. Back, 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 back. Give me six feet. Because, you know, the old Joe Corona is trying to get to me. Back, 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 back. Never mind. Practice first. <laughs> if he ain't come back to the show with, with your beat. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded good in the car, but he must have got the words. Mm. Let me show that inside. Mm. Mm. It might not look too hot, too appealing on the outside, on the top. But it tastes good. I'm going to get better. Practice make perfect. That was my little shirt. My baby gave me. On the back, I'm going to show you the back later. Can't show you the other back right now. I got my, my dress on, my dress from church on, my skirt rather. I just changed the top. But, y'all, I want to discuss that. You know, they claim that we got to wear a mask starting tomorrow for 30 days, right? I'm going to do some more um, Googling and find out. If you're in public. Huh? If you're in public, you got, public. To have, you got to have your mask on. Sorry. Whatever. Do what you do. Mm. I thought that we deal with you. We know we're not at home, baby. You, can't wait. you don't have to wait at home. I said I thought that we deal with you. Do what you do. I got my mask. A couple of them. A few of them. But I used some more. Some cute ones, too. Who I'm for, y'all? Anyway, we only had six people at church today. There's six. My, my husband, myself, my brother-in-law, his wife, which is the pastor and first lady, and my nephew, Derek, and his son, Devon. There's six of us. So, it ain't like y'all saying, what y'all doing at church? Y'all want to be y'all? Wait a minute. There's six of us. Oh, we still got to come forward. <clears throat> they come forward through social media with nobody being there. One way or another. They still come through. Dude, y'all, I'm full. Mm, I'm about to tell this up on it. If you want to hear it, but 
Go to Derrick Jones' Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear the message. You'll see it. You'll see it. See it in here. Yeah, he was recorded live on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. But what was it about, baby? You did it. He did it. Y'all, he did such a wonderful job. I was like this. I said, wow. And he didn't really have a lot of time to study at all. But did an awesome, amazing job. It really, really did. It really inspired me. Really motivated me. I'm sorry, y'all, but this thing is so crooked and it's really bothering me. Hold on. Now I'm telling my quick about showing back my shirt. Put your hand down. What, 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 what you talking about? Y'all see my shirt? Tell them about your sermon. Man of God, please. Oh, goodness. Hey, is it still crooked? Because it looks... Is it? No. Come on. Get back on the show. I said get back on the show. Ooh. Right now. Now, what you was talking about, babe? You came from Romans 14. Romans chapter 14. Verses 1 through 4. Yeah. One through four. What was it about, baby? Let me, let me tell them. Yeah, you can tell them. A little bit. It was so good. It was about... Yeah, I remember when Peter... No, Paul. Was it Peter or Paul? Paul said, well, they say they don't eat meat. If they don't, this is an example. If they don't eat meat, but you eat meat, okay, well then let them do what they do. Okay, you don't be so weird and grossed out. And I'm, yeah, I'm paraphrasing. Because they eat meat. Or you talk about them or judge them because they eat meat. Well, you feel that God told you, uh, not, or how they tell you what they, what is to do your doctor, however, for you not to eat meat. And so you don't be just like like you so better than them because you doing it this way and you feel like everybody don't have to do it the way you do it. That's what he was saying. That's what the words say. Romans chapter 14, 1 through 4. I'm paraphrasing. Well, and the vice versa. Why vice Paul versa. Brought that up and wrote it down. Mm -hmm. It's because him and James was feuding over um, what the what not the eat. What to drink, what not to drink. Oh, yeah. So, Paul was just letting us know because he experienced um, being around someone telling him what should not be and what should be. And once you experience that in life, because you experience that with people you socialize yourself around, when, 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 when you pack in the cross and you say that I am spiritual and I serve the Lord and I believe in the Lord, I believe in my word and I live by it. Well then, when people see you doing something that you don't supposed to be doing or eating something that, because one day on our channel, somebody say, oh, yeah. uh, about him I, drinking. Yeah, about drinking. And him being a minister. You know, and, and, and how can you be drinking and you say that you're a minister? See, that's something that that the devil always try to try to shoot at you just to see what he can pull out of you. Uh -huh. And if you don't retaliate, don't worry about it because even Jesus made water out of wine. But it says that you can drink, but don't drink to get drunk. And don't allow it to influence you in such a way that it takes you out of your your character and make you sin. Because when you get drunk or, or, or you near to it, you'll get to acting some type of way, speaking some type of way, and doing some type of way. That will let enlighten people that, that uh, hold, hold, hold up, he's supposed to be a Christian. He's saying all that, but he's under influence or something. That's why I say, drink to enjoy and to be able to be cheerful around people when you're drinking. Mm -hmm. It's a time to say, nah, man, that's it for me. You know, why you're still in your right state of mind. You're not talking some type of way. You're not acting some type of way, but you feeling all right. And you know where Neil been tipsy, but you feel good, but you're not drunk or anything. That's okay. But we shouldn't 
Well, so far as Christians, we should never stand on the sideline and point fingers and say, you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that, because that's God's job. God created us and he's the only judge who can judge everything we do. And trust me, he going to do just that. God's plan is already in effect before you even open your mouth and tell a person something. Now, if your Holy Spirit asks you to speak to someone in that category, well, then you got to do it in love. You got to do it in respect. Right. You can't be out of line. You can't uh, uh, flame no fire. You can't do anything. But right. do what the whole... See, sometimes when the Holy Spirit tells us to do something, we take it too far. Right. Then... That's when we out of line. Right. That's when, you know, hey, you should have just kept your mouth shut. You know? Because normally we're talking to people that don't read the Bible every day or none of the time. And they live in, in the world and they doing worldly things. So that means their mentality, their they attitude is everything is shaped like the world. And when you say something to them, they already arm it down. To retaliate. Mm -hmm. So the minute you say something, huh? You can't tell me what to do. Huh? Huh? What's your what, what's your problem? Mm -hmm. Boy, you better step back, step back. Give me six feet. Boy, if you say another word, it's gonna be you and me. But now you don't need all that. You don't need all that. Just stay in your place and let go. And let go. Mm -hmm. Cause God, boy, he, he gonna take care of his own business. He don't need our help at all. Because we don't know how to help. We don't know how to talk to people in love. You Not know? all the time. Not all the time. Because when you talk to people in love, with respect and harmony, guess what? They can't do nothing. Even if they get mad in the inside and their eyes start turning red, they're going to respect that. And say what you say, get off the gas because we don't know how to Sit off the gas sometimes. Boy, we get some mazin on the gas, but we don't know how to let up. Yeah, he tell me that all the time about me. And and not only can it apply to those who are not lovers of Christ, those who are non believers and non Christian, it can also apply to those who believers who are Christians. Raise your hand. Oh, yeah. If you can if you can't say if you can't say a word, just raise your hand. Yeah. So sometimes I tell my baby something or my children something, and I know they was raised in the word of God. They know God for themselves for the most part, you know, and they have a relationship like he, or they have a calling on their life like he do. And sometimes, you know, they're human. We all are human. We still make wrong decisions or whatever. You know, we let our, let our flesh win. So sometimes when I tell my husband something, you know, it might be, I tell him because first of all, it's, I love him enough to tell him. But, you know, I might not, I might keep telling over and over. If I say here, I say, baby, let's have this example. Let's, let's have Bible, Bible study, baby. Let's have Bible study tonight. Okay, we're going to have it later on, such, such time. Then such, such time can't pass on. Then he ain't reminding me. And I'm saying, I mean, he ain't saying, well, okay, baby, you ready? You know, or whatever. Then the next day. I don't remind you to get on YouTube. Then the next day. So, why should I remind well, you to do that? My husband is the head or whatever. So a lot of times, not a lot of times, a few times when he, if he's, even if he's coming to me and said we're going to have it, we're going to have it a certain, if we're going to have it a certain time, and then that time coming past, now, you know, I remember back in the day when we first got married, I said, one, one, I'm like, remind him of that. Boy, add to two sparks and flames, and he's, boy, he ain't like it. So I kept saying, okay, well, I know not to go do, do I said, hop on it over and over and over. I didn't get the game. Me and my then. wife used to have Bible studies, all that old stuff. But I'm telling you, when in when 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 YouTube interfere, that kind of went astray okay. for some reason, you know. I, 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 that's and the truth, I guess. I don't see, know but I'm gonna, try I'm gonna tell y'all this. Maybe he let me get through talking. That's yeah, but you. but I'm finna put a hawk on you right now because you're gonna put a hawk on me. Why? A hawk because it was my son. I preached it. But I want to talk to my own spirit. Right. So I'm the one. Who should be talking? Okay, go ahead. See, the thing is, and see, when you have been going, see, a lot of people, oh man, I, I ain't got to go to no biblical school, and I ain't got to study, I ain't got to do this. But when you socialize yourself around them big, big, big people, that is spiritual and, and, and deep and rooted in their word, 
you learn a lot. You learn a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And my mentor told me, he said, man, one thing you don't do is you don't want no type of um, retaliation. Don't ever let nobody see you do nothing. Don't ever let nobody hear you using words and saying words and, and, and actions, doing things that is ungodly. Because they always going to use it against you. And definitely, see, that right there, when you doing something that you ain't got no business doing, or you talking some type of way, and you don't supposed to be talking that type of way when you're a, 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 a man or woman of God, then that leaves the door open for people to tell you, how can you tell me anything? Right. So true. When you doing the truth. Mm -hmm. Or when you talk like this. Right. Oh, I just saw you the other day. Bagging right. up in the motel room. You're right. And it wasn't your wife. You didn't think I saw you, but I saw so, you. So, I mean, you know, it's all that kind of stuff that will come back on you when you open your mouth and try to tell somebody else something. They ain't going to want to hear it because guess what? You haven't shown I'm a perfect bitch. The parent is in you. Wait. Now, if you are spotless and pure in heart, good in character, your life lined up with the word of God, and people see that, it's no way they can break that, that barrier. So they going to sit there and listen mm -hmm. when you open your mouth because they know it's coming from someone that, <clears throat> that holds no foul, that I never saw them do anything. I never heard them speak no type of way. Or anything, well, okay, I'm going to listen to him. Because he's agile. He's able to speak his mind. But then do it in kindness and love. That's all you have to do. And get out the gas real fast. Well, because this generation now, but you stay on the gas a little too long? Yeah, well, they're going to put you in place. Yeah, and let me say this too. Right well, they're going to put a gun on you. And don't think that because a person doesn't see you or hear you, that they don't don't mean that they ain't doing wrong because you don't have to be seen or heard by people because maybe those people are not around you all the, all the time maybe they don't go places you go maybe you, know, maybe you go way out of town to do your dirt I'm Watch you. everyone. so yeah so go and see you no matter what so it make no difference whether they see you or hear you just don't do a period see that's all that's when she was ready to to put a cap on yeah i was ready i want to say what i said but yeah, i was ready real ready same with them excuse me y'all no 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 I started. I'm goofy. Yeah, but we, it's a discussion. No. Oh, no. I'm about to tell now. No. Well, we're discussing it. You together. already shooting slugs, boy. And hey, oh, what? Wait. I don't know. I, I'm shooting slugs about telling the truth, but wait, wait. Yeah. So, no, so no, you mean, no. long as they don't see you. Hey, oh, what? No. So, you said long as they don't see you and hear no, you, you no, good? No, 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 no. Oh, why well, was trying to make that clear? Let me tell you something. What are you Let talking about? I'm a, see, you didn't give me a chance to finish my or whatever. You went way past You want to hurry up? No, no, no. You came in a little speedy. Boo boo bang. No, I gave Whatever you, you, you did. You would have and uh, pass me straight up just so you can say that before I was even finished. That's why. Before I was even you finished. You say that, baby. Stop. I was telling them what my mentor told me. Right. And but let me tell you what my Holy Spirit told me after he told me that. That people don't have to see you, but you still have to be a man of God. Even in the darkness. You still have to worship prayer and, 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 and Jesus Christ. You know, you still have to be that man of God, no matter who looking and who not looking. You still have to be pure in heart. You still right. have to keep your, well, well, God don't worry about the flesh, but you can keep it as clean as you can. By not feeling with nothing against the word of God. So, that means... In the dark or out of the dark, you still have to be a man of God. You still have and to woman of God do the right things. You right. still have to speak the right words. You still have to keep your character intact. You still have to be that good man, that good woman, no matter what. Right. No matter where you're at. You know? That's right. It ain't a such thing if the eyes can see you. God's eyes are always on you. Correct. That's you know, them the main eyes. Right. So, it don't make no difference to them if nobody else looking. Because guess what? They clogged the different field as you. Yeah. So, so we all make mistakes, everybody. All of us. We, nobody's perfect. Nobody, none of us. So we're going to all make mistakes here and there. 
But the thing is, you don't want Focus. that to be your you don't want that to be your 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 reputation. You don't want to be known as that. Oh, you know, because we know some big pastors right now, preachers that are world known, men and women, white, black, whatever color, that they they are known to be. Oh, child, you don't show what they say. Uh, they fake phony. This, that, and the third. No, we didn't really talk about that. Me Tell me it's discuss, true. Did but, you ask me to discuss my sermon with these? But I can't talk either, Coach. But you asked me to discuss my time. I'm we discussing my discussing. time. We both I said no. Too. Oh, but I didn't. Just, I just said, can I say something right quick? I didn't just talk, talk over you, but go ahead. Yeah, you did. You bust through the door. Like you came. Miss King called somebody. What's your problem? Go ahead, baby. Ooh. Well, anyway. What Paul was saying is this. Is that. The words we use when we not spiritual, strong, rooted in the word of God. And we go out and we say things to people and stuff like that, knowing that we do this filthy as a rag. And, and you know, it don't, it don't only hurt you, but it hurt the people you're speaking with. Because your words can sometimes... A lot of time, 90 some percent of the time, lead other people to start sinning. Because people nowadays, when you tell them something, their heart grow hard. Because it's already hard from everything that they've been going through. You know, loss of a relationship, loss of a job, and, you know, just on and on and on. You know, for women, you know, men leaving them with the responsibility to take care of kids. 24 hours a day and 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 he's out somewhere else doing his thing now this woman have to work she have to take care of the kids she have to do this she have to hear everything she have to experience everything while he out there living another life you know that's a heavy burden and when you say things girl how come you let your kids woo when they don't automatic attitude you know, <laughs> women, last time I checked, I'm going Last time I checked, don't my kids. The last time I checked, I don't need you telling me nothing about mine. I got these. They're going to do what I want them to do when I want them to do it. I don't need your advice. Take it out on the street somewhere. I mean, this is what you're going to hear. Because this woman is already driven with an attitude. And because of her lifestyle and everything that comes with that, in a package that 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 got her with an attitude. And so forth, men. You know, the things we go through and experience, all that stuff we done put on us. And when somebody say something, it's it's common for a man to munch on himself up. What? What who you talking to? What you talking to? Boy you talking to me? Boy, Boy you better watch yourself. Pull back. Keep your mouth shut. I don't need you telling me nothing. I'm grown. Last time I checked, I'm paying my bill. You're not putting a dime in my pocket, so you might as well keep your mouth cut. I didn't put a, a quarter in the jukebox. So you keep your mouth shut. Don't talk to me. Talk to somebody else down the street. I don't want to hear the words coming out of your mouth. Nowadays, boy, they'll put a belt on you. Boy, they'll put a little butter knife on you. All kind of stuff, buddy. They just do all kind of stuff to you. You know, hit you with a baseball bat. Snap you with the palm of their hands. Tell you, shut up. Tired of hitting your mouth. But this is what Paul is actually saying, man, that, you know, is you got to be still. Keep your mouth shut. Because what you trying to tell them, God had already had plans for it already. God already done saw that. Over and over, even before you saw it. You know, and we try to give our opinion about what someone else should do or stop doing it, this and that. I found myself doing that and I and I felt deeply within me that I was out of line. You know, I shouldn't be talking about what people do. 
because it's not my business, you know? And if my Holy Spirit ain't telling me to speak to him, then I need to keep my mouth shut, period, all the way around the table. Not mumble or anything else about it because it's not my battle. It's the Lord's, and I need to let God fight his own battle, and I do. I ain't got nothing to say. My wife said last night with the woman had patches in her head, and I bust out laughing. I couldn't stop, you know? But that's a movie. And the man told her, oh, no, move, oh, get away. You look like a major dog, you know? But, you know, <laughs> I started having on it. <laughs> but she got it back. God bless the boy I'm stuck on foot. But I, even a movie, you have to train yourself not to allow your opinion to come out. I laugh, but I never spoke about it, you know, and I have to always train myself to keep my opinion to myself. We in those days, we in them times where you need to keep your mouth up, zip it up, you know, hey, man, look, let God take care of it because it's no battle that God have not won. And there's nothing on this world, on this earth that God have not seen. So what you saying is not new news. It's old news to God. And only thing you're doing is getting all muddy up for no reason. Because it might just lead to something else that you're not prepared or ready for. So mind your business. Stop, you know, even on on YouTube and stuff, if you see people eating too much and this and that, they know what they're doing. Why speak about it? Why say something about it? You know, let them do what they do. Because we all know the repercussions about every action that we do. We really do. So, guess what? When you say you've grown, you know all aspects of life. You know everything. You know who, when you're doing wrong and everything else. You know something? That's all I got to say. Oh! Bring it back with Bobby Attitude. All right, y'all. I'm full. Kiss it. Uh, see, cool. that's what she should have gave me after I got through preaching. I was sitting in the congregation. You were up there at the pool for you. How could I way up there? Run up there and give me a kiss. I'm your husband. You can do that. You you are eligible to do that. By law, you can run up and kiss me all day long. And y'all also, too, um, correction, my baby made a mistake of saying that Jesus made the the wine into water, where he made the water into wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it, See, I'm not perfect, y'all. I'm not perfect. Ooh, and thank his you, wife Jesus. powered it, so it's okay. It's all right. We know what he meant. I just clarify and let you know that I know what he Yeah, meant. he turned the water into wine. Right, yes. Yep. But it didn't have all the ingredients that it have now to get you out of your mind. Yeah. It was pure then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. a taste. Well, if you drank too much of it, it might have been have you feeling some type of way, yeah, you know? Yeah, acting crazy, talking yeah. all, ready to fight somebody, shoot somebody, all that old stuff go away. Yeah, but your girl fool, y'all. Y'all yeah, know Joe. I'm Lee. Shelly with the little Billy number two. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Lee. Shelly with the little Billy number two. When I sing it, I say it. You know that your girl is already full. I didn't go put my lashes on. But I was trying to wait till they open up the beauty supply store. So I give me some glue. The, the glue I need to make it stay on, stay on. But I might go and put some on today. I'll let my husband put them on. He did a great job last time putting them on. I want to shout out my girl. I am Sharika B. And my girl, my CC Boo. Shout out to you, CC Boo. Um, thank you for responding to me back. Y'all, he been going his hands to be moved. On Instagram, and y'all, y'all go check out her channel. I am Sharika B. It's her vlog channel, and Itty Pretty Mukbang is her uh, Mukbang channel. And I love both of her channels. I love her as a classy, classy, classy lady. And I just want to tell her so. And it's always good to give people encouragement, whether you feel they need it or not. They don't need no encouragement. They already got two million subscribers. They got ten million subscribers. So well, what? We don't know what people are going through. So you know, what? they have more attacks, like my girl B Love say. When the higher you get, shoot, more, what do you call? Higher levels, more devils. Okay? So we don't never know what they need. Stephen Tasha, my girl, all of them. Tay Lou, all of them. All of them. KT Connection, they need encouragement as well.
So just because they might have it going on financially, or we think they got it going on this way or that way, that doesn't mean that we can give that we don't have, that we can't give them a word, you know, of encouragement. You know, word of not the big be saying, "Can you give me some?" But a word of encouragement. You know, if you're about that life, and I am. So, and then God will bless you. He'll bless you. It might not be through that way, but he'll bless you with a long life, you know, your family's um, health, and all types of things that are blessings, you know? So, don't have to look at it as far as, oh, give me some, can you give me some money? Can you shop me out? Which is, that's great. Those things are great, too, if they Ooh. so desire. But if they don't, it's all good. Still give them encouragement. Send them a DM on Instagram. Give them some encouraging words. You never know. Even if they don't respond, as long as you did good by your, your heart, they ain't got to respond. As long as your attention was well. You did good. You felt good doing it, and that's fine. That should be your main thing. And I just want to shout her out, her and her husband, Tony, her two sons, her mother-in-law, her whole family, her channels, and just everything. And congratulations on her making her 50K on her Mukbang channel. And she is such an awesome channel. She's going to go farther than that, okay? Farther than I love her content. I'm quite sure all of us do. A lot of us do. A lot of us. So, y'all, don't forget to like comment and share share on every social media platform and subscribe so that you 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 can become an officially shelly in and ding dong ding don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be reminded of every every time your girl uploads a video okay and be quick with it. La 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 And shout out to my girl Ladybug Bethany. I, I follow her recipe and I'm full, full and full, but it will not go to a waste. Child. Baby, show me your stomach. No. <laughs> y'all, y'all should see his stomach. He only ate two pieces of KFC and a Back, 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 back. Give me six feet. The corona that's on you is trying to get to me. Back, 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 back. Man, get the feet. I'm not playing with you. Don't you try to play with me. Y'all, you hear him? Back, back. You know the thing that I don't try. But anyway, y'all, we love y'all. Bye. See y'all later. Again, we love you. Until next time. Huh? That you see us again. Keep us in your prayers. No, Baby, that is in. my shoe. I song. said, I love you. Back, 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 back. Because you're about to tell me too. Sing the song, baby. Because my love for you, it will always be true. I said, now, back, 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 back. Give me six feet. The corona that's on you is trying to get to me. Back, 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 back. Hey. I don't have my mask on. Don't have my glove. You got to keep her up. Get back, back, back. You messing it up now. Don't don't try to. That's why I'm leaving because I messed up. <laughs> don't try to. He, he was doing good. He was doing good. He started messing up. Just, just leave well. Oh my God. Ah, he got to knock over the ring light. Lord. Ah. Bye, y'all. Bye, Bye. Bye, y'all. We love y'all. Have a happy Sunday.